Now, in today's video, you guys are going to learn the top five stocks under $20 a share. Now, realistically, a lot of these stocks carry risk, but overall, they carry a ton of rewards. So it's always to be smart, be diversified. You know, don't go heavily into all of these stocks. Be invested in the S&P 500. But these are the top stocks under $20 in October of 2021. I hope you guys enjoy it. And overall, I hope you guys get something of value out of this video. And if you do, hit that like button and subscribe because at the end of the day, it really, really helps me out when you guys do that. So stock number one is ticker symbol AAL. Now it's not directly under $20, but I guarantee you guys can pick up this share for near and around this $20 mark right? You guys can see every time it comes down and dips under $20, we get a lot of buying pressure. Recently, it's used this $20 mark as some very strong support. It's hit it several times and we get buying pressure near and around this zone. There's a lot of opportunity on this one. Now, for me, when I look at American Airlines, I don't look at it with a long-term outlook. This would 100% be a swing trade because realistically, one thing I don't like about this is is this nasty downward trend. But you guys can see, it has this resistance here at 25. So there is some room from at least 20 back up to some resistance here, which would give a 20% return, especially if you just set your stops right below it. So you're risking virtually you know, 5% to make 20%, which is a decent risk and reward. Overall, this is a very good one to keep an eye on because people are starting to travel more and American Airlines is starting to make some money up because they had this nasty fall back in March of last year. So this is definitely one to keep an eye on uh, for this for this year. Uh, moving on to stock number two, we have ticker symbol F. Now this is Ford. Ford today is up over 5.4%. Definitely want to keep an eye on here. You guys can see it has this beautiful upward trend. Now, the reason why I love Ford is because we have this nice solid trend and Ford is starting to integrate. They have a variety of new cars coming out. They have, they, they, they're killing it with sales with the Ford Mustang. They're literally back ordered for their uh, Ford Bronco and every single car they have is getting bought up, sold out. It's very hard to actually get a new car. Uh, recently, I was about to buy the Ford Ranger and it was like a nine month wait to get this car in. And so we had to buy a used one, which was better for finances anyways. But still, it's definitely one to keep an eye on here is Ford Motor Company. Beautiful upward trend. This one would be having an outlook of about one to two years because anything lo longer than that, it makes me a little worried because of this previous downward trend. Realistically, definitely has some room to come back up to the highs here. I think it will by the end or mid um early next year, excuse me, but definitely one to keep an eye on is Ford. Moving on to stock number three is by far probably one of the most talked about stocks on this show is SoFi Technologies. SoFi Tech, this has a beautiful, beautiful support and resistant breakdown. Major resistance here at 28, but all day swing trades from 14 to $17. I called this stock out right here at 13 because we had a lot of buying pressure there and now it's getting bought up here. I definitely think there's some room to to grow to at least 20 to $23, right? Now, a ton of analysts came out and said that SoFi, at the rate they're growing, the stock value is gonna be right around 23 to $24 in the next two years. SoFi is growing at a rate which is unbelievable. The revenue is up 150% in growing. So definitely one to keep an eye on. Very similar to la the last one. This one, I'm going to have an outlook of about two to five years. So a little longer than Ford because I think it's going to be a little more volatile, but overall still have that overall strong reward um, in the next you know couple of years for sure. Definitely one to at least buy in right now, right where it's near some support and just hold it. You know, Pretend you don't even have it and just let it ride, man. Moving on to stock, uh, what is this, four? I believe so. Stock number four is ticker symbol Z-N-G-A. This is uh, Zynga, Zyga, something like that. You guys can see recently we've had this crazy sell-off just because of their missed earnings. You guys can see the stock fell over pretty much 16% in about three days, pretty much almost overnight realistically, but it sold off a little bit more. Now we've had this nasty downward trend. Uh, it came undervalued on the RSI, it's slowly getting bought up. I definitely think we'll have um, some buying pressure from at least seven, 
$7.50 to $8 for sure. Right in that zone, I think would be a smart uh, swing trade here. Outlook for this is very, very short just because of the of pretty much the volatility, right? It goes up and down at these rapid rates. You don't want to hold it for too long and get caught in one of these uh, sell-offs just like it did in here. Right here is just 100% swing trade with an outlook of, of about a month or two um, and just kind of seeing what happens with it, setting stops you know, below uh, 720 risking about 20 cents to make 50 cents, which is a good risk and reward too. Alrighty. So the very last one is one of the more popular ones here on the show is planet, um, 13. Okay. Planet 13. It, this is a marijuana company planet 13 planet right here planet 13 is a cannabis company based out of las vegas nevada growing at a super fast rate they're looking to expand into a couple of the nearby neighbors of uh, you know california utah all over there uh, the company's growing at a super fast rate and the craziest part of last year in 2020 you know during all these lockdowns Planet 13 was actually cr killing it on the revenue side, right? We have this beautiful upper trend, major uh, support here, stepping in at 420. I think we'll get some buying pressure stepping in. The outlook for this is very similar to SoFi, about two to five years. I, I'm a huge believer in this company. I think it's gonna um, be a very strong contender, if not one of the front runners in the cannabis sector over the next couple of years. This is definitely one to take a stab at for sure. And just understanding, yeah, it's gonna be volatile, but it's gonna have some growth spurts for sure. And just hold it, you know. But for me, all these stocks, I definitely put under like 10% of my portfolio. So what that means is before I invest in this, I invest $100 into something else, and I will only invest $10 into something like this. Moving 10% into some of these riskier stocks, but still having those solid base of so blue chip ETFs, all of those. Alrighty, guys. So that is the top stocks under $20 of this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And overall, I hope you guys got something of value and we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, stay safe. Take care.